Hello everyone. So in this lesson, we're going to look at a few more examples on work. So here we have a box that is being pushed to the right with a force of 10 newtons. There is a frictional force of 4 newtons on the box, and the box gets pushed over a distance of 10 meters. Question A. Determine the work due to the person who is pushing. Okay, so we know that work is equal to the force. So the force of the person is going to be 10 newtons. The displacement or distance is going to be 10. Now, if you have a box that is being pushed to the right, it's obviously going to be moving to the right, and the person is also going to be pushing to the right. So the angle between those two is 0 degrees. So you say cos of 0, which is equal to 1. So 10 times 10 is 100, and that's going to be joules. And you could say added to the box. You're not going to say to the right because work is a scalar. So we can say 100 joules added. Question B says determine the work done due or the work due to friction. Okay, so that force is going to be 4 newtons. Now remember, we're not going to say minus 4 because, yeah, it's a bit weird how this formula works, but I'll show you now how it works. This part over here will bring in the minus for us. And then the displacement, or well, that was 10. Now, if you have a box that is busy moving to the right, but the friction is always going to try to go against that. So if you look at those two, the angle is 180. So we'll say here, cos of 180. Now, cos of 180 is minus 1, and so you're going to end up with minus 40 joules over here. Therefore, 40 joules is removed from the box, is removed from the box. So please remember that this part over here must always be positive. Question C, how much energy is actually being added to the box? Well, if you can see this, we've got 100 joules being added and then 40 joules is being removed. So therefore, 60 joules is actually being added. So that box will speed up because more energy is being added than energy being removed. So this is called your net work. Net means overall. Now, there's a better way to do this. There is a formula where we can use w equals to f change in x cos theta. But if we want to look at, sorry, there was a theta there. If we want to look at the net, then we'll add the word net over here, and then the force you must use is net. So these two must always match. So when we were doing the person, then we could say person, then we used the force of the person. When we did friction, then we used the force of friction. Now we're doing the net force, and so we must use, or now we're doing the net work, so we knew the net force. So W net, meaning the overall effect, is going to be equal to F net. Now F net is going to be equal to 10, which is to the right, minus 4. Now that 10 minus 4 is 6. And is that 6 to the right or 6 to the left? Well, that's going to be 6 to the right. Then the displacement is 10. Now, we know that because the net force is 6 to the right, the object will move to the right. And so we will have to say cos of 0 because that 6 newtons is to the right and the object is also moving to the right. And if you had to go type this all in, you would end up with 60 joules and you would just say 60 joules. You don't have to say added and removed. I'm just trying to show you exactly how this stuff works. So a very popular formula that you're going to start using quite a lot is W net equals to F net, change in X, and then cos theta. But what you need to know is simply that there's this formula called W equals to F, change in X, cos theta. And then whatever force you are looking at, so if it's friction, then that will be W friction. If it's um, applied force, then that will be F applied force. If it's W net, then you must use F net. Here's another example. Number two says that we have a box that is initially moving over a frictionless floor. It then encounters a rough section where the force of friction is 4 newtons. The length of the rough section is 10 meters. Determine the work of the friction on the box. Okay, so we can say W equals to, now we're looking at the, f the, the work due to friction, so I'm just going to put an F there for friction, you don't have to do that, and so the force that we're going to have to use must be friction, I'm just going to write here friction, because remember these two must always match, and then we've got the distance, and then we've got cos theta, so the force of the friction is 4 newtons, now I know that that's going against the object, but you don't say minus 4 over there, then the distance that we're moving is 10 meters. Now, if you have a box that's initially moving over a horizontal floor, it then, so it's busy moving to the, let's say it's busy moving to the right. I didn't say that, but let's say it's moving to the right. 
then the friction force will obviously be to the left. And so the angle between those two is going to be 180. So you could say cos 180, which is equal to minus 1. And so the answer is minus 40 joules. Therefore, 40 joules of energy is removed from the box. Would that cause the box to speed up or slow down? Well, obviously, that's going to cause the box to slow down. And in, a, in, in one or two videos from now, we're going to actually start looking at how can we calculate the new velocity if 40 joules of energy is removed from the box. But that's all for now, guys. I like to keep the videos nice and short just so you can walk with the little baby steps, and that builds confidence. So thank you very much for watching.